EO's birthday, a tradition that has been going on in Austin, Texas since 1963. Happy, Happy birthday, EO! In case you've never heard of this tradition, or should I say festival, it's in honor of a donkey that happens to be depressed. If you're familiar with the Winnie the Pooh stories, then you probably know who I'm talking about. Oh, Eeyore, it's only you. Sorry to disappoint you. Eeyore wasn't just depressed, he was chronically depressed. Let me give you a little backstory. In one of the episodes in Winnie the Pooh, it was Eeyore's birthday and he thought his friends had forgotten about his birthday because nobody wished him a happy birthday, bought gifts for him, made him feel, you know, loved and accepted and all. And he grew even more sad. But little did Eeyore know that his friends were planning a surprise birthday party for him. Upon him discovering the surprise, he was elated, I guess, more than, you know, the regular Eeyore you would see or hear was. And from that, the idea was taken up by Plan 2 students and faculty of the University of Texas. This used to be a small picnic spring party for them. But today, this festival has swelled to become a major annual festival with live bands, non-profit vendors, certain games and activities, and the likes. Taken up by the city of Austin and as a whole to celebrate this festival. It's now become an opportunity to spread awareness about mental health and charity work and nonprofit organization work. People from all over the world, a lot of people, especially this man right here, traveled all the way from Ireland to be in this event. No, not every, everybody didn't come from Ireland, but you get what I'm saying. It's important to note though that this festival falls on the last Saturday of April every year. It's not the official birthday of Eeyore, but it was just a day chosen to celebrate and bring everybody together to be happy. You might see people wearing interesting things. Don't judge because this is what is required of us. We look good, right? We look great. This is the biggest birthday I ever been at. Fattest blunt I have ever seen in my life. Who came up with this? We both, we, we both split it. How many grams is in there? It's about two ounces. Two ounces! <laughs> Do you use drugs? I, um, <laughs> like, occasionally, I guess. What kind of drugs? Um, well, I guess... I don't know if this can go on YouTube. When would you finish this? Today. Smoke two, ten hours, but we're gonna finish it in uh, probably five. Five hours? Five minutes. Probably five minutes. We both write and play music. So uh -huh. cool. give, give me a sample. Thanks. One of your songs. <laughs> He's in a band called Acromathog. You want it? I've got it. I'll put you the face that you got it. Who's taking y'all home? Let me see. I'll no? figure it out. I'm gonna let Jesus, That's take, I'm gonna let Jesus take the wheel. How do you deal with depression, man? Drugs. You deal with the drugs. Why drugs? It's easy and it's cheap. How do you control your depression? We all experience it, but the way that we attack it and try to handle it is very important. My ex broke up with me. Why, why did she break up with you? Too good looking. Huh? I'm too good looking. Are you, are you dead ass? Uh, I mean, I could be, but she broke up with me because I was too mature for her. Is that what she said? No, but in other words, yes. What did she say? What were her exact words? Uh, I need a man that's gonna pay for everything. That's pretty controversial, right? These are deep questions you're asking at a festival. Um, you know what the festival is about? Depression? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you believe you should pay for everything? Depends. I mean, if you were my wife and we talked about our finances, yes. But if we'd only been dating for six months and we had never talked about finances, give me a fucking break. But I tried to keep it pretty even. I did a lot of good things for her, you know. So things 50, 50, 60? Yeah, yeah, exactly, 50, 50. Something she wasn't cool with. Is depression real or is it a thing of the mind? It was both. Have you ever been depressed? Yeah, but I, I'm not prone to getting depressed. Why Why you say so? I think that's just my chemical makeup. You know what we're doing today? What we're doing? What we're well, doing? Why are you here? Enjoying the site, the event. About back in the 60s. What happened uh, in the 60s? The poo. Yeah, uh, okay, oh, yeah. how do you deal with depression? Left? But nothing is funny if you're depressed. You are correct, but it's always good and so. Yeah. What is that supposed to be, a cat? <laughs> Playing lots of Fortnite, that helps with depression? Definitely. During my time here, I felt very different. Excited, I felt happy, disturbed in some moments. I was concerned by some of the things that I did see. There were very interesting costumes, interesting 
um, choices people chose to show up in around kids, women topless, men in underwear, shit, you, you might even come out naked if you wanted to. If you're not a very open-minded person, this may not be the festival for you. You would have lost your mind. You would witness people using drugs, people naked, people acting what you would consider to be weird, quote unquote, by your standards, of course. To be upfront with you though, in this video, it's not just going to be about the cartoon or laughs and getting to hear what people think about Eeyore. We're going to shine some light on the issue of depression and see how people deal with depression we're all humans the days can get hard and the times can get hard yes yes there is enough awareness a lot of people will argue however we can't i guess we just can't stop talking about it enough we wake up the next day it's like there's a new opportunity and a new chance to create more awareness for mental health so that is what we're mostly shedding a light on in this episode oh i'm actually a widow of two years uh i have six kids so depression i beat that shit to a t every single day i wake up and i do it for me and my six children absolutely i'm so sorry to hear that may his soul rest may he or her soul rest in peace my husband yes of 12 years so it was a very big loss and i hold it on my own so i wake up every day appreciate myself appreciate my kids appreciate my surroundings and live up to positivity that's all you can do um i just really like tattoos it's in like bright color it's just over how many years 16 16 years yeah. did you also tat your eye i see yes and you did, is that pink or red uh pink but it's kind of turned red what was the most painful tattoo uh feet right now are you happy right now i'm happy and i just would say to anyone that's not if it stays that way for a long time go get help so i'm gay satan gay satan yeah here i'll take your inner demons i'll take your turmoil and, and that's all yeah well how what are you gonna do with it have fun are you be okay yeah okay, me and my inner demons play really nicely we hurting myself you hurt yourself i have yeah how scratching and cutting no i'm sorry do you mind sharing what happened? Depression hits hard randomly, especially if you're around it, like being around people who are depressed. Are you better now or is still? It still comes and goes, but overall, like, I'm pretty good. I hope you don't hurt yourself anymore, though. Not at the current moment. Okay. Dude, are you, are you, is this your boyfriend? Oh, no. Oh, you don't let her hurt herself. Okay. Would you make sure of that? When she needs me, I'm there. She knows you said that, when too. she needs? He tries. I like that. Do you hurt yourself too? No. Okay. You know, just pouring it out on like my loved ones around me. You know, I mean, that's the worst way that I think anyone can actually handle a mental breakdown. Did you do that? Well, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, like the ones that like are actually around you. You know, what I mean, because I think that we tend to, um, you know, what I mean, take the ones around us for granted, which I think is just a human nature type thing. I, I worked at Tesla, which is here in Austin. I just got laid off. So like I was asleep one day like bro just got drinks with my boss the night before and shit you know living our best life woke up got laid off before I got laid off I was going to therapy cuz you know like it, it's hard out here you know what LinkedIn is bro so like you know it's it's more of like a social media thing than it is like a like indeed like indeed you use indeed to get a job but like LinkedIn is like your resume like as as like a social media right and like I, I saw a whole a whole bunch of people just like like me got fucked over and I was like damn. I know. <laughs> How healthy do you think you are mentally? Um like on a scale of one to ten, I'd say like a seven. I'd well, probably say the same. Yeah. yeah. What is making the three points non existent? The stress about like my future. Yeah. Cause I don't know like my path. Yeah, same. One thing I realized after graduating is I was stressed about the same thing. But then I realized even when I'm 50, I'm still going to be stressed about the future because we're never going to know. You think there's a destination you want to get to, but there's no destination because it keeps changing. That's so are you going to keep stressing after this? No. No. Would you describe yourself as imbibing and having that Austin hippie culture? Yeah, you know, so like I do feel that like I'm real laid back. That's actually the difference is that Austin accepts authenticity a little more than Cali. Have you been to Cali? I've been to Cali. I feel that Cali, there is 
a standard that a lot of people are trying to upkeep so they can't be the, their true selves. I really don't like the bimbo stereotype of like blonde women with like of like pretty physique and stuff like that and I don't like how it's shown off as women are like dumb because they're prettier or if a woman is like a certain level of like if she's confident with herself it's typically seen as she's not as smart and I really want that bimbo stereotype to be like washed away because women are more than just their looks. What do you think people develop that idea though? A lot of women have played into it as well to make money off of it and I think that's fine make your money whatever but I also think that women just deserve more than that to be seen as that. I just like what's best for our country what do you think is best for the country? Bro, look, and this might be a hot take. Joe Biden, no good, bro. He's just not, he's not a businessman, bro. And America is a business. We're not a country, we are a business, bro. Every, every, like, every politician in there is ran by a business. You feel me, bro? Bro, I want somebody like Trump. I think Trump is a, is a trendsetter because, like, they're, like, everybody knows it, you know, like, that, Trump opened our eyes up as like a masses, you know what I'm saying, to, to let us know about what's really going on. And I feel like is as people, if we're going to elect people in the office, we need to put the people that are backed by companies, but also have what we want at heart. I really feel myself more like libertarian, kind of like third party. Like I, I really, I really just want what's best for our country, Trump or Biden, bro. And we, we had four years of Trump and four years of Biden. And honestly, I, we had protests and all this shit when Trump was there, but it was never as hard as it is right now. And we had a fucking pandemic in the middle of Trump shit. And it was never this hard, bro. And right now, bro, it, like, bro, nigga, I just got laid off my job, bro. Like, and I'm, I'm speaking to you like brother to brother, bro. I'm qualified. It is hard for me to get a job, bro. I'm, a, I'm going to school for psychology. What do you personally think about drugs? I don't know. Um, I can tell you there's a lot of different research on it. Um, some say is yes, some say is no, but I think it's ultimately inconclusive. And I think it's really dependent on the person. If Does you it help with depression if I'm depressed? Um, if you, if you find it works for you, I think so. I think I, I think it's very person dependent. Um, and so, be safe, be careful. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you a, a straight yes or no answer. It's very nuanced. Definitely, drinking with friends can help, but also it's it's very case dependent. And I think people should experiment with dip different options um, but make sure that you're in a safe environment and with good people that you trust um, and if you're doing that um, and you have safety nets around you then I think you're in a good spot thank you so much so Absolutely. experiment with cocaine you know yeah, uh, yeah, fentanyl. Yeah, honestly just overdose that, that's a <laughs> smoke weed every day smoke weed you probably every hear day. that a lot though yeah but is it good for your health they say it can cause like cancer you know like smoke and all that into your lungs, lung cancer, you gummies. about to die. Smoke, or don't eat smoke, gummies. eat gummies. But that can also fuck with your intestines, right? Like the enzymes and all that. So what do we do? Play in bed all day and cry. I take drugs. How many, what drugs? All types, Zolo. man. Xanax, Zoloft, weed, permethazine, everything. Yeah. Lean, like fuck <laughs> it. And you happy afterwards? I'm fucking delighted. That, does that sadness ever come back to haunt you or it's gone, it's gone? Yeah, you just take more drugs. Lay in bed, right? I just cry in bed. For how long? Depends how long it takes me to feel good. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, what is the longest it took you to feel good? Probably like four days. Four days. So yeah. you didn't go to work, you didn't go to school? No, nothing. Do you live alone? No, I live with them. Pizza does help with depression, actually. I don't know, man. I'm too high for this. <laughs> Do you think being high is a bad thing? Why do they put people in jail for it? Control. We live in a society. And so by existing in a society, we give up some freedoms in order to coexist and have safety. But like, I think some rules should exist, but who decides the rule really kind of dictates a lot of control over that. If you ask me, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour is not enough 
to show you everything that went down at EO's birthday. You just had to be there yourself. In the broad scope of things, I do understand the severity of depression and I do understand that this is someone's reality out there that is very sad because they feel people have neglected them. According to World Health Organization, approximately 280 million people in the world have depression. Depression is about 50% more common among women than men. Worldwide, more than 10% of pregnant women and women who have just given birth experience depression. More than 700,000 people die due to suicide every year. You can see how devastating this is. As much as we want to have fun, let's also remember that we, as in individually, may be one person's only source of joy for that day. As for me, depression and how I handle depression, I don't even let my mind get to that stage. I think it's a thing of the mind and I think you have the power to control your mind and your emotions. You don't associate with your problems. You and your problems are not one. Your problems are temporary. But please don't use drugs as people have advised here the general best practices doesn't encourage you using drugs yes you go to the psychiatric hospital or you go see a psychologist they could recommend medication that you take which is another topic of its own but a recreational drug usage is probably not what they're going to recommend to you so please be smart with that with regards to the claim that there's enough mental health awareness out here I do think it's a two-edged sword. You have one end where, you know, people talk about it every day. They sleep, eat, breathe it, mental health, mental health, mental health is all they talk about. And on the other end, they know nothing about it. But what is most important is the middle where people know about it, but don't obsess about it. Are we asking ourselves that question here in the US where there is a lot of awareness? Is this awareness really helping us? Should we be doing something else? I don't know. I'm asking you all. So I want to hear your answers and thoughts in the comments down below. I had a blast. I had a good time at this festival. Again, if you're someone who, who's not open minded, I will say maybe, you know, get someone who's open minded to go see it for you and then they can send you a video of what is appropriate for your viewing. And that's enough, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you shortly with a new video.